Eric the Midget, go ahead. Good morning. Good morning. What can we do for you? Well, I was calling because last week Lisa did a story about me and did not include an interview with me at all, and she made me come off as being desperate. Oh? And I want to know what the fuck that was all about. Lisa, you want to come in and explain yourself to Eric? You make him Is sound he desperate. desperate. Explain yourself to me. I don't get the uh, the vibe that Eric's desperate. I she's not here yet, Howard. Oh, she's not. Oh, she's not here yet, Eric. Call back. No. I'll put you on hold till she gets in. She can. Just... What do you mean? She made it sound like you were hard up for chicks. No, 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 not for that. For a job. Oh well, That's yeah. That's right. Yeah. But you are. I got I got tape of you begging for a job on the voicemail that you leave. I was not begging. I was. Just saying, I need a job. I've been living off of SSI for about 14 years now. It's time. Then you that should be I'm desperate. After 14 years, he's desperate. But you know, Eric, it is understandable. I mean, you do have multiple handicaps. I know you want a job, but like the jobs he wants, he wants to go work for the Maloof Brothers as yes. a greeter yeah. in Las Vegas. Like, he, like you'll no. come to. No, here in Sacramento at the arena. Oh. At the arena, you want to grieve people. People are coming for a good time. They'll see you sitting there. That'll cheer What are you going to say? Mm. <laughs> well, where I wanted to work. Hi right there. I'm your short, misshapen host. Here's, what, here's the tape probably Lisa heard. Hi, Lisa. Lisa's here now. You made Eric sound desperate. He's upset. What's, which story? About him wanting a job. He's not desperate for a job. He just wants to work. And unlike Shuli, you didn't interview me. Usually when Shuli does... A story about me. He interviews me about it. Well, Eric, n not He's to got take a point. not to take anything away from you, but I work on so <laughs> many stories. I need to hear the story. Do we have it? Well, I'll play you his tape. Tell me if he sounds desperate. He, he wasn't desperate. He just wants a Let job. Let me hear. All right. Hey, this is Eric. After I was calling to see if you guys could please seriously help me get a job. So no pun intended. You use the word serious. Um, it's hard to understand, isn't it? Yeah, I don't. I'm getting mm. every other word. I right, forget it then. Was this the the voicemail he left on Jackie's? When he, remember we did a story about he called. It's a voicemail he left for somebody. Yeah, I I tried calling the one eight, the serious tip line, and I accidentally hit the wrong button. Are, are you sure I I didn't do a headline on you? You're thinking of an entire one minute story. Well. You announced on the show. Are you talking about the headlines in here? Okay. Yeah. That makes more sense. Yeah. All right. So Eric wants to make it clear that he's not desperate for a job. He would like a job. Okay. Does that does that satisfy you? Yeah, it does. All right. Um, are you reaching out to others? Have you talked to somebody else about a job? I tried talking to a contact that I have at WWE Films. Oh, what do you want to do for them? Well, uh, prom help them with promotions or whatever. Huh. All right. Well, we, we, I'm going to keep, uh, I'm, we have a little job board. I'm going to see if Why we'll... doesn't he go to, uh, I mean, you must belong to some organizations or you're followed by somebody. Yeah. Why aren't you asking them to help you find a job? Well, I haven't gotten back into the LPA yet. But little I will. People's Association. Right. All right. Well, I'm going to keep my eyes open, okay, and ears open. Surely they must have a bulletin board full of jobs. All right, Eric. Okay, thank you. Been hitting the porno we sent you? No, not lately. All right. 